Hello everyone, welcome to Alice Her Gaming Time. Now, today we're going to be looking at the official updated roadmap for August. Now, another one is due to set to come for September also, but things may have changed since then. Now, I understand about the leak one. I did cover it, but I never uploaded it because I just thought the video was not good. But now, considering the official one is here, let's get into this, but first here's the intro. Okay, so now we have got months we have, and hopefully this will keep us busy until the winter stuff comes in. Okay, let's start off with September. So in September, we're going to be getting some new clone uh, trooper appearances. We will be the Wolfpack and the Mobile Recognition. And then also in game improvements, we've got the squad system. Now, from what I've heard about this, is that I've been told that one, it may be something like from Battlefront 2015 or maybe something from Battlefield 1 which if so then the thing is is that not everyone wants to play with a partner, not everyone will want to do this and that so hopefully they'll have the option where you can where you where it's like before the game improvement starts but again it'll be interesting to see how it goes and then in October for Heroes, we have got General Grievous and an appearance. Um, so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that for our first hero in October. It's been a while, it has. And then in November for Heroes, we're going over on Kenobi with two appearances. Locations, uh, Genosis, Galactic Assault, oh my god. Uh, appearances, we're going to be getting a Clone Trooper appearance. And as of new vehicles, we'll get a new vehicle on Juno, which the Stamp, the Bug Speeder, and ATTE. Sorry. And then Winter Heroes is Count Dooku, Anakin Skywalker mode, the new last, the new game mode with featuring uh, capture points and capital ships takedowns, and the appearances for the constant guards. Clone Troop Appearances and the 501st Legion Clone Trooper Appearances. So what do I think about this? I think this is all okay, apart from one thing. First of all, I am not going to be talking much about the winter stuff because again, we do not know and DICE and EA have not confirmed if that the new game mode has been will be an offline or offline, offline or online experience. Let us but please let me know if they have or have not but I will say this for Geonosis I hope that they do make a map for the other modes such as Arcade Blast, Strike, the new game mode um, Starfighter Assault, all of those ones because again it would be such a shame that they would make one map spend all this months and time on just one thing and then just add it to Galactic Assault because again it beats it out like you don't care about the offline players like look as I'm filming this the recent update has been out and a new location from Naboo is in Custom Arcade it's where it's the um, palace hole hangar I think it is so, uh, look, I know that DICE supplies us every now and then they do, like, Kessel is also on our case, so I bet Genosis one day will come to our case. Um, I suggest people start asking about it, and when we eventually know if it is or is not coming, then let's be a bit of an uproar about it, because when we do that, they listen, and then eventually maybe they will do what we want to do. I said that there would be multiple map, multiple levels of Genosis there will be. So, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace guys, see ya.